Hi everyone, today I am with my grandpa. Introduce yourself. I'm Grandpa G. This is Grandpa Gary, and he will be talking about all about books because that's what my channel is about. And we will also be giving a little look into his office slash bookshelf. Slash library. Slash library. So let's get started. The first part of his bookshelf that we're in is... Just fiction books. They are the fiction M books. Murder mysteries. Murder mysteries. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell us, what is your favorite book of all time? War and Remembrance by Herman Woke. Okay, cool. <laughs> Historical and, fiction. <laughs> Historical fiction. And what is the saddest book that you've ever read? Probably The Notebook. Oh, The Notebook's so sad. Yes, I know. It was still is. I just saw the movie. It was pretty sad, too. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's really sad, so if nobody has seen it, you should go watch it and read the book. But read the book first because... The book it, is even worse. It's even worse. Yes, more it brings sad. some Kleenex. What is your favorite thing about reading? I think it makes me relax and go to sleep. It's like a good nighttime story? <laughs> that or in the afternoon. <laughs> Take a lot of naps. What can I say? <laughs> good night. And is there a specific <laughs> place that you like to read? Do you like to read in your office or outside or on your bed? Probably outside on the deck in the afternoon, and then in my bed at around 9 o'clock, I start That's reading. That's nice. Yep. Is it because you like to look out to the ocean? I do like looking out. Yes, it's I do. It's pretty. Yeah. This is where he reads every day. Right here. On his Kindle. Yeah, there it is. And there's the book he's currently reading. Oh, no, right? hold on. This is the book. It's all words. Fun book. Good book? I think so. All right, and look how beautiful. And is there something that you like to read on? Do you like to read books, or do you actually like to read like on your iPad or a Kindle, or like tablet or something? All I use anymore is uh, what is it? The e, e e books I buy, or yeah, I don't buy hard books. Anymore. How come? I'm saving trees. Saving trees, <laughs> one book at a time. Am I right? That's right, boss. <laughs> so what section of the bookshelf are we in now, please? Well, let me turn around and see. To be my historical uh, fiction section. You have more historical fiction. <laughs> yes, I do. I like that. Ooh. Yeah. How often do you read? Usually a little in the afternoon and a little in the evening. So do you read a lot, would you say? No, because I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your favorite genre out of all of them? Uh, historical fiction, as you might have guessed. I enjoy that. Maybe I'm going to learn something from this book. Yeah, they teach you things and yep. they're interesting. So that's good. Do you prefer magazines or newspapers? Like to read in the morning with I a read cup of orange juice. I read some newspapers. newspapers. Although I'm giving up on that because I don't like the political situation. So <laughs> I'm just going to read sports from now on. Tell me, what book are you currently reading? Are you currently reading a book? And I think it's John Grisham's latest book, but I don't know the name of the, t the book. Is I just it a good started one? it. I, don't, I think all his books are good. But uh, Number one fan of him, are you? I am indeed. Do you prefer hardcover or paperback? Neither one. I use the electronic reader. But if you had to pick... Paperback. You, really? Well, then I can give it away or throw it away. I, this, these rooms all full of books. I have no more room. You have a lot of hardcovers up there. Yeah, though. I'm done with that. Save a tree. If you don't like a book, do you keep on reading it or do you just... I stop immediately away? and go on to the next one. Why would I waste my time? Because some people just want to be able to say that they've read the book, right? I don't want to say that. It's no good. <laughs> do you read before you go to bed? That puts me to sleep. Nine o'clock, I start reading. Nine thirty, nice. I'm asleep. And do you and do you fall asleep with the book on your face then? No, I'm a little more controlled than that. <laughs> I put it on the nightstand and turn off the light. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Good uh -huh. job. Do you prefer a library or a bookstore? I like the little bookstores. We have one up the street. Older oh, yeah. couple own it. Very sad, but I I like to go in there and see them and 
They're books. Oh, that's nice. Even yeah. though you don't read books, you only I read... I don't read theirs. <laughs> I like to see you them. Go. Do you think you would know what is the biggest book on your bookshelf? How many pages? Yeah. I don't know. If you just had to guess. 600. 700. Oh, no. No, no. Shark to Ram, I think, was 900. That's my biggest one. Where is that? Uh, I don't know. It was on that shelf there, but then it broke the shelf. So heavy. Really? No. <laughs> All right. So, you come in. Say hi. Hello. Over here are some historical fiction books, right? Yes, they are. And over here? They're all over. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I enjoyed the interview very much. Very professionally done. Now I'm going to watch the U.S. Open golf. Enjoy your golf. Thank you. To all my friends, have a good weekend. And now that wraps up my interview with my grandpa. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you tomorrow.